Have you dreamed of buying a home, but you're not sure where to start? Well, stick around because today I'm sharing with you the top 10 mistakes that first time home buyers make. Watching this could save you a lot of headaches. This is something every home buyer should know so you can avoid these crucial mistakes. I'm Baron Brown, your Big Island Hawaii realtor. If you're looking to purchase a home for the first time, listen up. So let's dive right into the nitty gritty of the home buying process with mistake number one. Mistake number one is skipping the pre-approval process. Picture this, you find your dream home, but wait, you're not pre-approved. This is important because you don't wanna waste your time looking for properties that are not within your budget, and it'll set you up for success, not disappointment. If you're competing with another offer, one that has a pre-approval and yours that doesn't, you better believe that the seller is going to go with the offer that's already been pre-approved. Having a pre-approval gives both you and the seller confidence in your ability to move forward and follow through with your commitment to the finish line of purchasing a home. So make sure you get approved ahead of time before you start looking at properties as this will give you the best opportunity to win. Mistake number two is the market timing game. Time travel may be cool, but playing the market timing game, not so much. Trying to time the market is kind of like trying to catch a falling star. Although a well-timed approach may seem like a good idea, it almost always leads to missed opportunities. You could literally be sitting on the sidelines waiting for the market to drop. In a matter of three years at $2,500 a month, that's $90,000 you've spent at 100% financial loss when you could have taken that same money put it into your house and your investment and started building equity. Owning is always better than renting and that way you're in charge of your own destiny. Mistake number three is waiting to save 20% down to purchase a home. This is not the case and it's a serious myth. You may be surprised to know that as a first time homeowner, you may only need to put as little as 5% down and in some cases even less. So make sure to talk to a professional mortgage lender. It's always smarter to get in the game sooner than later and knowing this, you have no excuse. So don't make that mistake. Mistake number four is not shopping around for lenders. How shopping is fun, but mortgage shopping is equally as important. Different lenders offer different products and services, so it's important to shop around to see who's got the best product for your personal needs. We're not just talking about interest rates here. One of the biggest challenges self-employed people face is getting approved for a loan because it's typically based off of your taxable income. Now, if you have a lot of expenses and write those off, then your taxable income could be totally different than your net income. And so a great example of knowing a good lender might recommend to do a bank statement loan. A bank statement loan qualifies you off of your deposits into your bank account. This is the difference between working with a savvy and experienced lender and working with somebody that doesn't have that much experience in lending. It could really change the amount that you qualify for. So make sure that you talk to a professional lender as well as multiple lenders. Another tip is working with a local lender. I can't tell you how important this is because Hawaii is different from the closing timing process to certain nuances that lenders should know about Hawaii. I've heard some stories of buyers working with mainland lenders and they've ran into some really stressful experiences such as not being able to close just up to a couple days before the transaction, having to ask the seller for permission to extend the transaction and potentially jeopardizing their earnest money deposit. You don't want this to be you. Make sure you use a local lender that is familiar with purchasing a property in Hawaii and knows how it works. Finding a good mortgage lender is like finding the perfect pair of shoes. It makes all the difference. Mistake number five is chasing the perfect home. It's important to have realistic expectations about what your budget can afford, and it may not be perfect the first time around. It may be important to find the perfect home for your budget. Keep in mind that most people will own multiple homes before they upgrade to that perfect home. And your first home doesn't have to be your forever home. Sometimes it's important to balance your perfect home wish list with reality. Remember, you can always upgrade down the road, so don't make that mistake. Mistake number six is forgetting home insurance. House hunting can be an adventure, but forgetting your shield is a huge mistake. Now, if you're working with a lender and you're financing your home, this may not be an issue because most lenders will require that you have home insurance to protect their liability and your asset. 
However, if you are a first time homeowner and you're paying cash, I actually had two first time home buyers in the last year that did pay cash. It's really important to remember this. Again, this is probably the biggest purchase you'll ever make and you want to make sure that it's not a liability and that you protect your assets. So if something happens, you don't have to worry about it. You have your insurance to cover it. Mistake number seven is cashing out all your savings. Homeownership is really exciting, but it's also a big responsibility. It's important to have some extra cash funds set aside when maintenance issues come up, as well as unexpected things that might pop up. You won't regret it if you have a little bit of savings in your pocket and not have to fret about how you're gonna pay for these things, and that's part of homeownership. Number eight is neglecting future plans. Where is life gonna take you in the next five to seven years? It's important to know, are you gonna get married? Are you gonna have kids? Thinking about these things and thinking the purchase through is like having a crystal ball into your future. Homeownership is a journey, not a destination, and most people will upgrade their home within five to seven years. It's important to remember this to avoid having to upgrade sooner. Mistake number nine is settling on a property. Compromise is good, but settling is not. It's really important to find a home that is going to spark true joy so you're excited about it when the closing day comes around. I know it sounds crazy, but don't buy a home just to buy a home. Most people will keep the home that they're gonna live in for the next five to seven years at least. Now, if you do need to upgrade sooner, I'm happy to help you with that because life does throw some things at you. But just make sure that you know what your negotiables are and your non-negotiables and make sure you don't settle for a home. Mistake number 10 is not using a professional lender or a realtor. DIY is great, but not so much when it comes to home buying and working with the lender to get your mortgage. Having a professional by your side is an ultimate game changer and it can potentially help you avoid these mistakes I just mentioned and save you time, money, and a lot of headaches. Well, there you have it. The 10 biggest pitfalls to steer you clear of making these mistakes on your home ownership journey. Remember, knowledge is power and with the right guidance, you're on your way to becoming a savvy, homeowner. If you found these tips helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe for more real estate wisdom, and you're on your way to a smooth real estate transaction and a first time home purchase. If you're thinking of buying, selling, or investing in real estate in Kailua Kona, Waikoloa area, or the Kohala Coast area, please reach out to me as I'd love to help you on your home buying journey. And no matter where you're at, I hope you're living aloha every day. We'll see you guys next time.